welcome back everyone so i'm here to give you guys another quick tutorial this one's going to be how to use image frame so you will need a current image server running um this is pretty simple there's a, i think i have a video online as well on how to do it uh, but essentially what this is going to let us do is run a um an image frame server so if we want to run it like on our a background on our um home screen of our android tv or our device it'll basically show like this and you, it'll scroll through it on your Android TV, your Windows desktop, Mac OS desktop. It can run basically as a screensaver for any kind of device you would like to use it on. So to start off, um, I'm using Unraid. This is an Unraid tutorial. So let's get started. Um, first, we're gonna need to go to Docker and we're gonna need to, um, I'm gonna make a new one real quick just because uh, I have one up, so let me remove that one. And I'm going to remove the folder as well. One second. Okay. So once I remove my full install, we can go to apps on our Unraid. And I'm on 7.12 just for reference. And if we type image frame, all one word, it should pull up to this. We'll click install. And we're going to need a couple things uh, to do this. Uh, first off, if you're from the U.S., this is going to be handy to set this up. Um, a lot of uh, the first thing we do is a lot of ports use the 8080 port for most containers. So I changed this to 8383. This will just make it easier and more unique so we don't have to worry about it like clashing with other apps that may be running our containers in Docker. Uh, next, I'm just going to select uh, where we're going to store our config files. So I'm just going to store mine on an Unraid share. Uh, most people, if you leave this blank, um, it will just install to the... Um, apps data so if you go in here i'll show you uh app data it'll just be in here uh, but i'm going to actually make mine um available in unrange shore share apps i'm going to leave it there and um it should install there and then we're going to our image services this is where we're going to input our domain for our image or our local so for me i'm going to use my web browser domain which is going to be um photos dot my domain dot com or dot stream for me if you're using it locally you just want to do http colon colon and the ip of the device that's running it so for example mine's running on this device but if you were running on a separate device you can always use the ip as long as it's inside your internal network so we just do um i think 2283 is the port so again mine's running on this machine which is one ending in 158 and the port for image is 2283 but again i'm going to use my um reverse proxy domain because that is more simple for me. You can do either one though, it's really up to you. Next, we need our API key. So to do this, we're gonna log into our image frame server. Again, you can load it up through your domain or um, you can load it up through your local host. I'm gonna log into mine, ignore the um, block out that. And once we're here, we we'll click up on this top right hand corner where we see our username and we're gonna click on administration. And we're going to go into, um, oh no, we're going to click on account settings, sorry. Then you'll see API keys. And we're going to click create new API key. And we're just going to call this um, image frame. The name really doesn't matter. Just make sure you copy this somewhere safe because once you click out of it, you're no longer going to have access to it. Um, so make sure you save that somewhere. I'm going to go in here and paste the API key in here. And I'm going to change this so I don't think you can use it because it's going to be changed before the end of this. Um, next, the album. So let's say I want to make this real quick. So I don't lose it. Now let's say uh, once you click done, I want to use an album. So I'm going to use my family album and you're going to want to go to the link. Once you go there, you're going to see it's going to say your domain or your IP album. And then a significant album key right here. If you want to copy and paste this, this is your UUID. Um, and paste in there. If you want to use multiple, you just click on the comma and add multiple, whatever are the ones you want to add into there. Um, and if you want to exclude ones, you can always exclude them as well using this as well. Same kind of thing, you have the UUID. If you want to um, add certain people to it, you can do that as well. To find that out, all we need to do is go into um, people and let's say i want to select uh i don't know them uh, all i have to do then once i see under people you grab this um uuid which is for the d and you do everything for the question mark 
copy to add it in there it should do it um, next we're going to change the um, <clears throat> and again you can change the image from days you can select days or images from date to date let's say I only want to select them for um, certain days or a certain time frame like years you can do that I don't do that because I, I want to run them all in sync or random order um, intervals I make this 32 that means it has 30 seconds for the image and then two seconds for transition so 32 is probably about where I want to be usually you can make it as no we'll make it 30 and even 30 um, weather API you can add like the weather out I don't really do this but you can you just get an open weather map uh, API key I can you can look this up it's pretty simple to do uh, we're in the US so I'm gonna use Imperial this is gonna be like Fahrenheit for the degrees um, next we're gonna go into here and this is important if you want to do so if you set it HH capital HH dot mm that's just gonna be the military time so if you're in the US most of us don't use that do lowercase HH colon lowercase mm that should give you the correct 06 08 12 18 you know all the basically the 12 hour format a.m. to p.m. Um, next we're going to you can leave all this the same unless you want to remove you know country state the information there you can remove that if you want for us again we're in the US so we're going to use um, month month day day so it's gonna be month day year if you want to change it, you can change it to any way you want um, we can set the color of the background I'm not going to do that because I like it clear just to see it clearly and I'm going to select style we're going to do none so it doesn't have um, basically a background uh, for the clock or the information on the screen I can show you what it'll look like in a second but that's basically the gist of it once we have all of that set uh, we can click on um, apply and it's gonna load it's gonna load all right once that's done you should be able to load it now and you'll see if I go to actions web UI should load our image man let's check the log to make sure it didn't um, mess up It sometimes takes a minute to first run, so we'll wait for this to run. I'll pause and come back when it's running. Give me one second. Okay, so for future reference, just know you're gonna have to make a folder inside that root directory. So for me, um, all I did was change the uh, apps. So where this folder is, the image frame subfolder. To do that, you can. There's a really handy tool I use. Um, it's called this one. It's a I forgot what it's called. I'll list it in the description. But basically, if you go into your user and then you go into um, Unrate Share Apps, you just click on uh, Create add the folder name um, it should be in there but let me see what that's actually called um, it's called a file manager so you can find it under apps it'll be under system apps you can find it in the home section file let me find it one second I believe it's built in now so you don't need to plug in um, but once it's running, you'll see the logs will show this. And you'll see it says it's successfully started and we're on port E3. So now if I go here, click enter, now it loads. Hopefully. There we go. And you'll see my clock is correct. The date is correct. Today is June 17, 2025. The clock is 7-11, which it is. Lucky you make a wish. Um, and as you can see, like it's got all my data here. Now if I want to change the background, um, if you don't like that, you know transparent background all you have to do is change it to um, the color which will be right here and you can change it to a, um, a hexadecimal color so let's say I want to use red so if I just type in red hex color uh, we can see this is the hex color for red so we'll copy this and we'll add it in here and we can set this to solid and apply. And now, if I go back to it, 
the left. You can see now it's a red text and a black background, uh, which is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> um, you can also change you know, secondary color or other colors. I'm going to switch mine back because I don't have, I never really go for red. Um, but you could, you know, customize it to, to your will. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, if you guys want to see anything in the next future videos, let me know. I'm more than willing to work with you guys on it and make something cool for you guys to watch if you guys are going to watch it. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. I also have a, um, a Patreon if you guys want to, or not Patreon, <laughs> a buy me a coffee if you guys want to support me and make sure I keep in these amazing videos. I also have a Discord channel in all my descriptions in video, every video as well as um, in my uh, description of my YouTube channel. If you guys need help with anything or have, or have any issues, please feel free to stop on by and ask any questions you may have. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your evening.